Alright, ahoy. We are on to Rag, because he's also a dick. So, um, this fight is more or less identical to the other one, but there is a trick. So, essentially what you want to do, um, if he comes back with more health, so you need to make sure that you can kill, um, you need to, let's, let's start again, okay, so you're going to build this deck, and I'm going to give you the deck right now because there is a trick to this. You are going to need two Circle of Healings, two Inner Fires, two Light of the Narus, two Power Word Shields, two Divine Spirit, two Light Well, two Shadow Word Death, two Valenge Chosen, one Big Game Hunter, one, two Dark Cultist, two Death Lord, two Mind Control Tech, two Light Spawn, two Mogushan Warden, one Holy Nova, one Kalthazad, and a Sea Giant. So, um, I did a, this, this is the deck, I kind of tweaked it a little bit, but essentially what you want is you want to throw down a Death Lord. This is this, this deck requires probably a lot of conceding really early. If you don't get a Death Lord with either a Divine Spirit or a Power Word Shield in your hand right away, you're kind of hooped. What you want to do is you want to have either your Mogoshan Warden or your Death Lord on your on the table, on the on the board, really really early, and then you're going to buff them, and you want to buff them so much that they can't be killed like they can't be killed on the go um, in one turn and you want to be able to heal them right back up to full as soon as you can and you're going to just keep buffing them and making them bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger until um, and you get the uh, major domo to 21 health stop at 21 which means he won't be able to play any of his molten giants he has 10 of them in his deck and he basically what he does is on the last turn before you kill him if you leave him with under 20 health under 21 health he'll throw out a bunch of giants so if you leave him at like one health he's just gonna throw down a whole bunch of molten giants he'll just have a deck full of them and then you're pretty much hooped so you need to be able to kill um kill major domo from 21 to nothing and then he'll respawn as rag and he does that hero power which for two mana he will deal eight damage twice to a random enemy and you want to make sure that your guys can survive that one turn um, and he comes back not at 8 health now, but at 30 health with 30 armor. So you need to be able to beat him quickly. So that's the deck. Let's go see how many tries it takes me to get it. This one is definitely a bit trickier, but, and it took me a lot of, a lot of me conceding very early on. Um, it's just because I wasn't getting the cards I needed, but it goes by faster if you do that than trying to play out the whole game, trying to make it happen. This one's going to take the longest, I bet. Oh, well. crazy high stuff for a Oh, yes. Okay, if I can hold out. It's on five. This might be okay. If he does a stupid thing again, this will be okay. Alright. I can drop this on turn three. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna drop it. He's only got one mana next turn. Let's drop you while you only have one mana. Okay, he's dead. That may have just won the game. Be. Okay. Oh, are you gonna head? Yeah. Please get. 
give this guy help. Dang it, that's not what I wanted to happen. Alright, that's fine. Well, I can't do much right now. I mean, I could throw down another taunt. That just seems wasteful, so... I guess I'll do that. This is getting ridiculous. Um, sure, let's just heal up all my guys. Kill you, I guess. Where? I don't need any more minions. I need my spells. Give me my spells, please.
wrong card. There we go. Double a minion's health. Is really good. I need to save this for a I need to save this for when I get my light. I might not have a light one. There we go. That's not bad. And like the first three games was just me mulliganing because I could not get the cards I needed. It was one in three games, but yeah. But yeah, so let's do it in the face for 54! That is how you beat Rag and Wood Your Double Executives. So, yay! That's exciting. Yay. And that's heroic. So that's Molten Core done. Um, yeah, next week is Black Rock Spire. Which is really exciting. I don't know. Let's do a sneak peek of what cards we're gonna get. We're gonna get a hunter card, a paladin card, and two naturals, including a legendary. We'll look more at those next later on this week. So excuse me, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that enjoyable. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.